Hi, Sharon. Hi. Hi, hi. Um, how are you doing now in these strange times? I'm uh, doing pretty well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. And life continues um, as normal a little bit because we are used to working at home, of course, and uh, we're just writing songs again. Of course, our album was only released in 2019, and the Resist album. So uh, for us, um, of course, we have planned an enormous tour with Evanescence. So the tour has been postponed, but now we have even more time to write for a new album and on new songs. Yeah. Um, first of all, the tour, Worlds Collide. Um, uh, what was the starting point? What was the initial seed for this tour? Do you still recall? Uh, well, I remember that um, we were invited for a show to Evanescence. Um, they invited us to come and see the show in Amsterdam. And there was, uh, she was, uh, Evanescence was playing with a small orchestra in the Ziggo Dome. And afterwards they asked us to come by and to have a, a glass of wine. Of course, we never say, ne never, to, <laughs> never say no to that. <laughs> uh, it's nice to meet people. And uh, yeah, so we were, uh, we're interested to, to meet them also because they're, they are bands uh, from the same scene, of course, and uh, very curious what kind of people are behind the band, of course. So um, we met and we had a really nice connection um, with Amy Lee. She was talking very, um, she was very open. And that's not something you always expect from the first time you meet someone. You expect maybe a little bit more chit chat to um, make way for a next meeting and then you can talk maybe a little bit more um, on uh, bigger uh, issues of life and but this time it was like immediately going well, to a serious level of um, talking very free freely about life itself and how touring goes and and I was really surprised I had goosebumps <laughs> because like I was really surprised because of the openness that she talked and um and uh, yeah, and I was um, well intrigued. So I and she was as well apparently, and we stayed in contact. And eventually, this tour let's let's do something together. And then she said, "Well, we're going, uh, we're setting up a new tour. Isn't an idea to tour together?" And uh, that's how it came together. Oh, that's good. Um, well, the tour is then next year, um, first date um, in September. Um, you have already written some new songs. Um, will they also be played during the tour, of course, I think? Uh, I think so, yes. That is something we are planning. And maybe because we have a lot of songs, of course, and of course, people will also want to hear um, more songs of the past, songs they already know maybe a little bit longer. So it's going to be a mixture of all the new. And uh, maybe we'll change every day a different set list and we'll see how <laughs> ambitious uh, this tour will be with the set list. But um, I'm looking forward to playing th those, uh, those new songs live as well. Yeah. Well, the first song that you released this year was Entertain You. Um, what was the, the starting point for this song, Entertain You? Well, I saw uh, by the time that we were writing songs, um, I saw uh, videos come by uh, on the internet and it was about uh, people being bullied by the fact because of the fact that they're different, and uh, of course, this is something that has been in society, of course, throughout the ages. Uh, people always find it necessary somehow, unfortunately, to express uh, how different an other person can be, and um, and I think anyone who has ever been singled out or bullied in school will feel a certain kind of, um, well, it leaves a scar when you have a memory of that. So that's, that was what, the, what the, that's your message with entertain you. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. not there to entertain you. Maybe people are different, but they're beautiful in their own way. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it's not up to you to use that against them. But I think it also not necessarily sums up, but a little bit of something I think that's also what the attraction is of within temptation. It's really uh, you speak out, you have a certain style. It's not your average style, average day style. So I think it's something that really, well, uh, people who are a fan of your music can relate to it. Um, I hope so, but I don't have the illusion that a lot of people listen to lyrics. Uh, okay. Some will. and. 
And, you know, there's always, not always that clear uh, what we mean by, but through interviews, we can talk about it and we can open up the discussion. Um, and hopefully people will think about it and, uh, and people will relate to it if they feel necessary. I think music it always does that in, in different levels, of course. It doesn't matter to what band you will listen to. Um, eventually, you know, you will find something that you connect with. If it is emotion or it can be the words, of course, but a combination of a lot of things. But uh, I do think there is a group of people that will, um, that does appreciate. So I think you're right. But it's more like, <laughs> but I also think there's also a big group that doesn't even know what we're yeah. talking about. <laughs> no, but it's 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 maybe then uh, less clear, more s subtle. I mean, the, the musical choices you make, the the, the 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 style you have, the the way of clothing and and the way you portray. I think that's more. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you're right. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then the last song you've released uh, this year, uh, I think maybe there will be another one, but I think it's the last one. Uh, yeah, one for this year. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Purge. Uh, what started off this song? Well, it's about uh, when you are a bit down, you know, in the darker days of of um, of, um, of life, that you try to uh, discover where the feeling comes from, where you where uh, the origin of the problem lies. And a lot of times um, to do that, you do it by self-reflection. Um, like, okay, the choices you make in life and what kind of uh, consequences did your choices have on you, but also people around you. And, um, and that was, this, was actually the, the start for this song, the idea for this song, because I think well, we have blue days <laughs> and dark days. And so I think a lot of people around us as well. It's, 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 um, and the purge is about trying to free yourself from that feeling of guilt. And uh, when you understand why you made those choices and maybe also can talk with the people that were involved in that decision, uh, then a lot of times that that feeling goes away and you can you can cleanse that uh, that bad feeling and you can go on again uh, with a well with a better view on tomorrow because it, you can really leave it behind you is it something that you've had that you've had yourself too maybe with an example no well, you know um, i've talked about this before for instance one of the things that i find difficult in life is that i have such a uh, i have you know being being in the band for such a long time i've been on the road for a long time and that means also being away a lot from my family, not just my own family, but also my parents and also uh, friends and a lot of uh, important days that I will miss out on. And uh, so I find that difficult, that that always comes back. And I know, you know, I get a lot back back for it as well, because it's my passion, it's my love. I, you know, I love the, the thing that I do and being in this band. And, uh, but of course, family is just as important, maybe even more important. So it does always, um, I, I do carry that kind of guilt with me uh, constantly. And, but then um, I, try, I do try to find balance in my life every time and see if the balance is still okay. I knew it, now I, nowadays I can do that better than in the past. Yeah. In the past, I was just going with a roller coaster and not thinking much about it. Yeah. And now yeah. I try to live more consciously, <laughs> my choices. Yeah, and I think now with this COVID, uh, I think it's it's it's. Uh, I think the balance is now more than more than ever in in tech. Yeah, yeah. totally. And, and the thing is also that um, yeah, there is uh, there is a, a the balance is going more at home than <laughs> than being uh, being because I've been at home now for a long time, of course. For my, uh, if, if you consider the year that I have, normally it's half uh, of the year I'm gone, half the year I'm at home. Now I'm already for 12 months at home. <laughs> it's also nice, I must say, you know, it's good for the quality time. And sometimes you would wish you could go again. <laughs> because nobody's used to me being around so much. I'm interfering with all decisions now at home as well, of course. So, um, yeah. so it's, uh, yeah, it has always two sides to it. So, but um, yeah. Yeah. Last question uh, for, for this interview. Um, being at home now for so long, what is the thing that you miss uh, from with the temptation that you actually didn't know you would miss? Well, you know, I guess um, 
everything that I miss, I already knew I was going to miss, actually. Mm-hmm. Not, not something new, because I knew I was going to uh, miss the interactional stage, mm-hmm. the first reactions of the new song that will eventually, of course, come when we are able to play. But um, so that that's one thing. Uh, I miss... Um, being together with the band and crew, seeing each other and being on the road because the ro- being on the road is like a school trip. Uh, <laughs> like the, the ultimate school trip, that's yeah. how it's always. And uh, with a lot of adventures and fun. And um, yeah, you really get to know everyone very well when you go on, on tour. And so they become a sort of family as well. So I miss, I miss that as well immensely. And um, yeah, I guess um, there's not something new that I've been missing. No, so that so mm-hmm. I expected this already, but I didn't know how much. So I'm gonna e- appreciate it even more when I do go on tour again. Yeah. Uh, last question. The um, you've released two songs now. What is the plan for you with recording and eventually maybe a new album? Is are there any plans? Uh, there are not any plans when we have we don't have a release date if that's what you mean for an album uh, we're just going to continue releasing songs until we are able to go on tour again and then we'll see how fast we need to um, well we don't need to do anything but (laughs) well when we want to release a new album again and you know the closer we come to a, a, a day that we can tour again the closer we'll be probably also towards a release date of complete album so but we're working on it. There is no album yet. So it's <laughs> okay. good. Um, thank you, Sharon, for this time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>